Hey guys, what is up? We are live, and as you can see from the title of this video, I don't want to effing see the calories on every single menu. Every restaurant I go to, every fast food restaurant, every sit down restaurant I go to, all I see is numbers. That's the first thing that sticks out to me. When I go to the coffee shop, all I see is numbers. All, that's, that's what stands out to me. Even if I'm just going to get a coffee, I see the numbers, the calories of, on the muffin, on this, on that. I want to tell you a story, okay? Last weekend, I was out with Eric to a restaurant, and the menu had calories on every single... I see a comment, but it's not showing up. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, you love my title. I see the calorie on every single option in the menu, and it ruined my eating experience. And this was at, like, your normal, like, healthy kind of place, whatever. But I didn't care about what I was ordering. All I saw was the number on the menu, and it literally ruined my experience eating at the restaurant. Even though I am completely cool with food, all I saw was those numbers and I was like, why? Like this just pisses me off because it ruins my experience, yet the average person doesn't even know or understand what calories are or how many they need, blah, 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 but it ruins people. The most women are concerned about how many calories they eat. So when they go out to eat, they are bombarded by the number. Now, Eric and I went out to eat last night and it didn't even like prep me. We went out to this burger place. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get a burger, gonna get fries, I'm pumped, I'm real hungry, like all this stuff. It was a local place and it had no calorie um, numbers on because it was a local chain, it's a local restaurant, there's no chain. And it didn't even cross my mind until after I was like, Oh my God, there are no calories. There were no calories on this menu. And I was like, this was a completely different eating experience for me. I just ate the food. I ate it. I left a little bit on my plate because I was like, okay, I'm full. This was a really big burger. I love my fries, all this stuff. So yeah, I did my research for this today. I, I'm a good girl. I did my homework. I went on Google and you know, Google, Google has all the answers. So we, I'm sure you've all noticed it. Restaurants are starting to put calories on their menu to inform people how many calories they are eating. And I quote, this is from um, the FDA, um, calorie labeling on restaurant menus and vending machines can help you make informed and healthful decisions about meals and snacks. Okay. I understand. I understand where you're coming from. In today's busy world, Americans are eating and drinking about one third of their calories away from home. So blah, blah, blah. They need to know. The U.S. Food and Drug Administrative has new legislations that require calories. Let's just throw that over there. Okay. So what you'll see is you'll see calories. That's what you see is numbers. So instead of choosing what you want to eat, you decide what you want to eat based on the number. Um, for me, that's pretty damn bullshit, and I don't want to see the number. It ruins my experience, and I don't choose what I want to eat. I choose based on the number, so thank you. Thank you for ruining that for me. Thank you. Let's read on. Um, in, this is interesting. In addition to calorie information, restaurants are also required to provide written nutrition information, including fat, calories, saturated fat, blah, 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 carbs, fiber, sugar, protein. You may see this on posters, tray lines, counters, handouts. So when eating out, don't ask, don't fret. Don't hesitate to ask for nutritional information. Because when I go to McDonald's, I want to know how much shit is in the burger. Like, I already know it's shit. I don't need to be told. Thank you. Honestly, let's just throw this one over here. So this is, a, you can Google this, it comes up. It come, It's showing you what it'll be on, what it won't be on. It won't be on a deli counters. It won't be on bulk foods such as loaves of bread. Why? Why not? If it's on everything else, why not put it on that shit? I don't understand. So it also goes on to explain why calories are important, and it bases the number off of a eating a 2,000 calorie diet because they assume everyone eats the same amount of calories, which is BS. And um, what else did I say here? So they say 100 calories per serving is a moderate serving, and 400 calories per serving is a high serving. Interesting. So, I mean, that varies per person, and I think it's all kind of BS, because um, it goes on to cal calorie conscious tips, because we aren't already calorie conscious enough. It's giving us some tips here. So um, know your calorie needs. Here's a calculator. Go figure out your calories. Let's start getting obsessed with calories. Thank you. Thank you for this. 
Fuck, fuck off. Am I allowed to swear on here? I'm sorry. My mom's going to hate it. She hates when I swear on this. Compare foods. So opt for the lower calorie items. It literally says that in here. Opt for the lower calorie items. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. So so thank you. I'm going to go to McDonald's and order the salad with, with no dressing and, and like no walnuts. I'm just going to get lettuce. Thank you. Um, limit add-ons. So don't, so don't add, so don't add, you know, your sauces and put them on the side because it's better to have them on the side than on, than, than devour it in your meal. Like bullshit. Pick dishes that include more fruits, vegetables, whole grains, blah, blah, blah. Eat healthy. Yeah, we get it. Watch beverages. Choose water or fat free milk. <laughs> You need fat in your milk. I'm sorry. These, these, I just want to, now my room's a mess because I was throwing paper everywhere. But honestly, what I'm trying to get here is I understand that they are trying to make people conscious and aware of how much they're eating. And when you're eating out, like, oh, don't eat over, overeat or, you know, how much do you eat this day? You know, choose this or whatever. But for the average person, they have no idea what a calorie is, what a calorie does for their body. They have no idea how many calories they need. So for the average person that they're trying to help, it, it's not helping them. But for people who have extremely extreme restrictive behaviors or um, pasts with food and numbers, they're all they're gonna see on the menu is the numbers. That's a boom, that's all you see. And it ruins your eating experience on, on the restaurant. Like I don't even wanna go out and eat at restaurants because all I see is the numbers. Even though I'm completely fine, like last night there was no numbers, eating a burger, eating bad food was like awesome for me. I was, I was good to go, but I don't need to see the number. Like I don't, I'm aware that a burger is a, a lot more, has a lot more energy and calories than a salad. Like I'm, I'm pretty aware. Like instead of just throwing numbers at people, let's educate people on a healthy balanced diet. I do not think that calories need to be put on every single menu item. Like Seriously, are you going to put water zero calories? Then all the girls are just going to order water. Like, <laughs> seriously. So Eric and I had this conversation last night, and um, these comments aren't loading, and it's making me so upset. Um, I want to read your comments. Um, so Eric and I had this conversation last night because I was like, oh, my God, like, this is crazy. There are no... Um, okay, now I can see the the um, comments, so I'll get to them in a second. Eric and I had this uh, conversation last night, and I was like, this is so weird. And he's like, oh, I love that they have the calories, because I get the, the biggest, the one with the, the most calories every time. And I'm like, of course you do, because you aren't emotionally invested with the number. So I get that, that it could be help or, helpful for him, who is like, I want to eat a lot, I need a lot, because my body needs a lot. I get that. And I get that in a sense, me going out and choosing something, you know, and being aware of the calories, even though that's challenging, that's kind of good because it'll get you to get over it. Be like, yeah, it was 16,000 calories and I ate it and you're good to go and you're fine. So I don't know. Just let me know in the comments. Like, where's the balance? Is it good? Is it bad? What do you guys think? Because I know we all have different opinions and I'm going to get to these comments. Yes, it's not about the input versus output equation. It's about fueling yourself, Jamie. Yes. Um, <laughs> Amy, I love the swearing. Thank you. Um, wouldn't macros be more useful in making food choices? I, I totally agree. I think some restaurants do have macros. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But I, I just see mostly calories. I think you have to, like, ask for, like, a pamphlet of, like, the macros. Um, new option, highlight what vitamins, minerals, and other health benefits are offered from each food's chocolate full of nasty, <laughs> oh, I just said nasty, tasty antioxidants. No, for sure. Um, totally get that. I don't know why these comments aren't showing up on my live feed, but oh, here they are. Preach. Mac preach. I feel like overall it's oversimplified and less informative. Yes, I totally agree. This is what I think. This is this is what I think. I think they should have two menus, one with calories and one without. If you want to be informed, I think that's great. And for a healthy reason, ask for it. Ask, I want to know the calories in this. Can I have the information on this item. And if you're someone who does not want to see it for mental health reasons, mental health, hello people, if you don't want to see the calories, then I shouldn't have to see it. And I read an article yesterday, tips on how to deal with it, and the woman um, said, don't even look at the menu, 
ask the waitress or waiter, what's good here? What are some good options? Like what's a good dish here? Ask, ask what's on the menu. And so you don't have to see the numbers. That's, I think is a really, um, <laughs> love your title. Okay. Bye. Um, totally makes fun. It takes the fun out of having a nice meal. I know I hate it too. Amy totally agree. It is so, so interesting. Um, I think giving the option to ask what ingredients would be helpful for me with people with allergies. Yes. Calories are a waste of time. I totally agree um, with you. I'm finally seeing a ghost step. I'm finally seeing all these comments. I just started a new job. Oh, no. Um, the girls become friends with our dieting, and I'm only the one who eats whatever I want. Well, you do that, girl. And you know what you say when the girls are talking about their diet? Say, I eat intuitively. I eat when I'm hungry and I stop when they fall, and I eat whatever I want. You say that, and they'll be like, they'll be mind blown. They'll be like, that's so lame, but they'll see that you're living a better life. Um, making it optional is the way to go. In my opinion, I give the full nutrient infant on one and I totally agree. Let's start a petition. I had this conversation with Taylor, uh, my friend. I'm like, there should be an option to look at the calories or don't look at the calories. I think that would give people the right to either know if they want to know. Sure. I understand why they're trying to make it a thing, but if they, if someone is like emotionally, um, attached or has a negative emotion with the calories, you shouldn't have to look at it if you're trying to regain and better your relationship with going out to eat at restaurants. Because the last thing I want to see is just numbers labeled everywhere. It's it's so annoying. It's so, so damn annoying. So if you guys have any last questions or comments, I think that this topic is so interesting and they, they did not take into consideration people with eating disorders. And that is the trend these days. They're trying to stop the obesity epidemic, but they're not stopping it or helping it in a right way. They're not teaching you how to eat balanced. They're just like, here are numbers, eat this much. And then people get caught up in the numbers and this is creating a problem obsession with eating less food. And you go and you don't pick what you want to eat. Eating should be fun, it should be enjoyed, and it should be a good experience. It should not be like, oh, let me pull out my calculator and see if I can eat this amount of calories. Like, that's that's not okay with me. That's my opinion, but I'm open to all of your opinions in the comments. I love how involved you guys are, but I'm going to turn it off here. If you have more comments or opinions, please, please, please leave them below, and I will read them. I love reading people's perspectives because we, I know we all have different perspectives on this kind of stuff and I get really heated up. So leave more comments. I'm gonna leave our Ditch the Diet group in, or someone who's in it right now. I know Lindsay's great for tagging it. Tag it in below if someone wants to join because we talk about this stuff quite a bit in our group. So let me know what you guys think about these um, calories on every men menu. Okay, bye!